Whenever you're ready. Okay, we're recording at 728. Okay, eight up front, right? Hello, my name's Billy Drummond, and uh, I play the drums. I'm in uh, Rudy Van Gelder's historic, beautiful Dream World studio, which I love. The majority of the records that I have been influenced by were recorded here. It's home for me. First of all, the name of the band is Freedom of Ideas. Dana had been you know, playing saxophone with us for a few years. Desron has been a mainstay. And Micah is relatively new. Uh, he was a, actually a student at Juilliard where I teach. It wasn't so much uh, teaching, it was just collaborating with him. So the band is called Freedom of Ideas, and I like the band to be loose, but capable of going in any direction. I want craftsmanship to be there. Everybody's very, very skilled, but at the same time, everybody's very open and loose. Open-minded and consummate musicians. Well, I guess I could say that um, I am who I am. Uh, I am a uh, African American man uh, living in a country that has not been uh, necessarily democratic. I mean, you know, there's been great strides have been made, but of course, the last couple of years things have kind of resurfaced in terms of uh, injustice and, and that sort of thing. So, of course, we're all affected by it, but being who I am, I guess I'm affected by it even more. This was really born out of the events that, uh, you know, really were happening quite globally, um, but in particular in the United States in the midst of the pandemic, but also in the uh, really in the midst of, a, of another racial upheaval in this country. One of the things that I'm really, you know, into and a, and a, and a proponent of is having artists present their visions. I mean, I always express myself as to who I am. I play the way I play because of who I am operate in society the way I do because of who I am. I'm playing a music that was created by people like myself, in my opinion. And I think everybody can agree with that. Um, but of course now the music has been adopted by everybody worldwide. You know, the people that like it just like it and they come to it and take part in it and that's a beautiful thing. It's about expression, freedom of expression, freedom of uh, opinion, freedom of ideas, that's the name of my group. So I think what uh, Corey is trying to do is a, is a noble thing. The momentum of the Black Lives Matter movement, just really trying to, to, to lend a voice to the black experience in the States made Corey, who records jazz music and is, is very heavily immersed in it, realize that the music is a black American art form. You know, there's, there's talkers and then there's doers, you know. He wanted to be uh, more cognizant and more um, present in terms of um, promoting black artists and their music and, and really supporting their endeavors. Corey and I spoke about different artists that would be great to record. 
and this is the fourth record today. This is with Billy Drummond's uh, quartet. Sometimes music has a way of getting people to understand what's happening. It resonates with them another way. As far back as Louis Armstrong, and Duke Ellington, and Dizzy Gillespie, and John Coltrane. With their music, they've brought people together in a way that a politician, or maybe even an activist, or someone like that would not be able to do because of the music. Any effort to do that, to make people more aware, I applaud.